I have abs. You know how many times I got fired because of people like you? Be better. Oh yeah, I tried a cricket before. I like pour myself a nice bowl and I see a chicken foot in my soup. My name is Marcelo, I'm 20. I was previously on an episode of Bestie Picks Bay and I was the winner, but unfortunately it didn't work out. We're picking Marcelo. My besties didn't pick my bay. I'm Antonio, I'm also 20. I've known Marcelo since high school and I saw his last episode that he was on and it was very unfortunate, but we're back for some redemption. We're gonna pick a real dime for Marcelo today. <laughs> we were just not each other's types, so I guess that didn't really uh, work. I saw it, I was like, okay, Marcelo has a good chance. And I was like, wow, he won. And then this huge like thing was like, no, I don't think she picked uh, my best piece to pick my bait. And I was like, what? But Marcelo, such a good looking man. And I, was, and I was so sad, I was like, all right, Marcelo, don't worry, we're gonna be back. And, we're, we're gonna get a good one. Unfortunately, we have different tastes of girls, but uh, I still think he could choose the right girl for me. Well, I chose Antonio because he just uh, knows what I want and we get along really well, so yeah. Our friendship's stronger than girls, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. She has to have a good sense of humor because I like to joke around a lot. I don't like to take things seriously. Uh, spontaneous into sports like soccer. She has to like scary movies. Not too short, I guess. She can't be very confrontational because yeah. Marcelo's a very laid back guy. Yeah. The pressure's very on. I'm very nervous, but I think I got it. All right, let's redeem yourself. Let's do this. I'm Journey, I'm 18 years old, and a fun fact about me is that I'm a total nerd, so I love gaming and anime and superheroes and things like that. Hi, my name's Sarah, I'm 19, and I love traveling and going to concerts. Hi, I'm Catherine, I'm 21 years old, and I love being fabulous, looking fabulous, and just living my best life. My name is Francine, I'm 20 years old, and I have abs. <laughs> my name's Natalie, I'm 19, and I like to party. Hi, I'm Alexa, I'm 20, and my first language is Spanish. So Alexa, I have 19 años y tengo ocho piercings. Figure it out. Hi, I'm Daisy, I'm 20 years old. I work full time for a cosmetic company and I love dog memes. Hi, I'm Tiani, I'm 18 and I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Hi, I'm Ave, I'm 19 and my fun fact is I love K-pop and I'm gonna study vocals at Berklee College of Music. Hi, I'm Saya, I'm 18 years old and I have a black belt in karate. Some girls did stand out to me, and I think might be a good match for my friend Marcelo here. The one with the abs stood out to me. So my first question for you ladies is, what is your ideal date? My ideal date would definitely be something um, very like, something that's just super unique and like explorative. Like I want to try something new. Like it could be trying a new food or like we're trying a new thing, like something cool like that. My ideal date would probably be an adventure. I love going on adventures and experiencing new things. So if it would be like a show or like just going somewhere that I've never been and then just feeling it out. My ideal date would be going to a food truck or a food market. I love going outdoors and trying new things. My ideal date would be something spontaneous. Um, I like getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things. Um, so yeah, I'm down for anything. My ideal date is Disney World because I've never been there and I really want to go there with the love of my life. My ideal date would be going out to like a show or maybe like a sports game or something and then get, getting something to eat and like talk about it. So my ideal date would probably be showing my partner my favorite restaurant, which would be like an Ecuadorian um, food because I'm very into Ecuadorian food. My ideal date would be watching Game of Thrones and then a kiss. <laughs> It all depends, because I have two. So basically, I would like to go to an amusement park, you know, we eat, have fun riding rides. And then you got the other one where it's pretty chill, you know, we just sit at home. 
watching anime and, you know, just talking to each other again. Well, my ideal date would be like something very adventurous. Um, I kind of like to go with the moment. So I really, 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 really wouldn't matter to me as long as it's fun and I know it's genuine. My ideal date would probably be like a uh, rooftop dinner in the city, something chill. So you all had very good answers. Marcel likes food, he likes adventures, but unfortunately he doesn't like anime or anything along those lines. So Ave, I'm sorry, but I, I'm eliminating you for Marcelo. <laughs> it was cool. I mean, if you don't like anime or K-pop, you're not for me either. That's just how it goes. That's the world. Antonio. What are some of your hobbies, like outside of like school or work and anything like that, like any creative hobbies or athletics that you guys do? I currently take a jazz class and I really like doing that. I'm um, working on my tumbling. I can only do cartwheels right now, but I really like that. <laughs> and um, I really like photography. It makes me really happy. So I like going to different locations inside and out of the country and just um, taking pictures of things. I love studying music. I love all genres of music, specifically jazz and contemporary, and then listening to the artists and then seeing like how they're played. So I also love learning how to play like each of like the artists that I listen to. Um, and I also play like ukulele, I play piano. So yeah, I just love to like dabble in all that. My hobby is, I'm a very active Yelp user, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically like food stuff. So I hunt down my favorite restaurants, and I follow a lot of food Instagram accounts too, so I just hunt down like my favorite foods and just go. I write on Yelp, I, I leave reviews, You're I leave, those. yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those. You know how many times I got fired because of people like you? Be better. <laughs> So my hobbies are eating a lot, preferably fast food because it's cheaper, and then going to the gym. And then later at night, annoying my sister when she's on FaceTime with her boyfriend because she thinks she has too much time for me now. All right, my hobby is traveling. And like, I'll go on Pinterest and I'll look like at Florida places and then I'll travel. And then I'll go to all the Pinterest places. And then when I went to Colombia, I did the same thing. So yeah, I like to travel, see my grandma in Colombia. I really like going into the city and like discovering hidden gems and like coffee shops that nobody knows about. And I also really like figure skating. So I really love makeup. Um, I'm very into cosmetics, making videos for my job or for me personally. And I love to actually go biking. Uh, one of my hobbies is playing Apex Legends on my Xbox. Well, two of my hobbies is I like I really am into poetry, so I like to go like to poetry slams. And other than that, since I have a black belt in karate, I like to like work out and go to the gym and do runs in the morning. I'm really passionate about soccer. I've always played since I was a kid, so um, now it's just not soccer, but just sports in general. Unfortunately, Marcelo isn't too big into like writing and poetry and all that. So, Saya, unfortunately. <laughs> You will not be the bay. I, I. I didn't think it was unfair because everybody doesn't like poetry like that. But oh well, you missed out because I'm popping. Period. I know y'all like food, but it is food related. Are you a picky eater? And are you open to trying like new things? When I tell you I am not a picky eater, I seriously mean it. Like sometimes it's like really bad how much uh, like I'm not a picky eater. Um, I really like trying new things. I've, I think I've tried, oh yeah, I tried a cricket before when the Economist truck came. Like I'm really into new foods just because it's like a cool way to immerse yourself in different things. I used to be a picky eater, but now I'm not because I've taken my health very seriously and I've decided to try new things like kale and goat cheese and like just things mixed in with that and like big salads. And I also tried falafel for the first time and I loved it. So I love food. I'm not a picky eater at all. I literally eat everything, but my favorite food is Haitian food because I am Haitian. So yes, I'll give you some good Haitian patties. I will probably eat everything that I see. Um, despite me having abs, I do really eat a lot and I will eat anything. <laughs> Keep it away from me if it's yours. I'm picky. Like, I'll go to McDonald's and be like, no pickles, no mustard, and if it has a pickle, I'll be like, I don't want it. It has pickle juice. I used to be before I moved to the city, but then I started trying to like so many amazing food and so many like different cultures that I just like stopped and now I enjoy food, you know? So I used to be a very picky eater, um, but actually this past year I've been trying to expand my horizons on trying new foods and yeah, I've been going to new restaurants like every bi-weekly. 
I am not a picky eater. I'll eat halal, McDonald's, any type of fast food, anything really. Marcelo, Portuguese, his parents cook very traditional Portuguese food. So there might be some weird stuff in the soup or something. <laughs> I like pour myself a nice bowl and I see a chicken foot in my soup. And I was like, Marcelo, what is it? He's like, oh, that's just chicken foot. And I was like, but isn't this just chicken soup? He's like, yeah, but we put everything in the chicken. And I was like, okay. So unfortunately, Marcelo likes all types of food. His parents are Portuguese, so they put some weird stuff in their soups. They put like chicken feet, and they, like they eat the eyes of like the pork and all that. So <laughs> unfortunately, Natalie, I think you will not be the bay because you're a picky. <laughs> Yes to chicken feet, because I ate them in the chicken soup my grandma makes. No to pickles. They're nasty. You being a picky eater shouldn't matter because people have their own different ways. And you can't really force somebody to eat something they don't want to eat. Because what if they have an allergy? I was wondering what you guys want to be in the future and if it's compatible with Marcelo's aspirations. This is probably really cheesy, but the number one thing I want to be in the future is successful and happy. And that could be a lot of things. I'm currently working on a novel, so I really want to be a writer. But I also am really into voice acting, so I think I'd like to be a voice actress as well. Um, I would love to pursue acting as a career. Um, right now, I just focus mostly on singing and like musical theater. Um, I also have tried writing like some songs and doing songwriting with that. So I would just love to be successful with that in the future. And Maybe a jazz album, because I love jazz. Well, actually on Friday, I'm graduating with my BS in speech language pathology, so I will pursuing that. And on the side, I'm doing modeling too, so yes. So I'm a student full time. Um, I'm trying to get that bachelor's degree in uh, biology with a concentration in medicine. Um, so yeah, I don't have time to go out that much. So I need someone for the ride. But once I graduate and go to medical school, um, I want to be an orthopedic radiologist. So I write songs, and I've been writing songs since I was like five. Um, so I really like to be like a singer songwriter. I want to be um, the CMO of a beauty company um, when I grow up just because I'm very into marketing right now. I'm into social media. I'm a social media associate to a cosmetic company, so I'm really very into my job. Um, I'm currently pursuing my associate's degree in nursing so I can become a nurse. My goal is to obviously make a lot of money. Um, still don't know what I want to do yet with my life. I'm choosing uh, as I go because I'm in college. So unfortunately, Marcelo is, likes to be with his like couple a lot and since you want to be a doctor, that requires a lot of time. So, I mean, you wouldn't be able to go on dates and have cool adventures. Sorry, Francine. Yeah, it's all right. I need someone with like the same interest in me and is understanding. You know, I'm looking for a ride or die. And I feel like guys prefer girls to be ride or dies, but you know, we're changing that. We're changing it up now. When I saw Marcella, I was thinking, boy, my dad would not be happy about this. I think I'm a handful. Um, I don't think they'd be, good be able to handle all this. So, my next question is, are you a very confrontational person? How do you react when you're mad? Like, do you communicate with um, your partner well? And like, do you let them know what they did wrong or like it, what you're upset about? Or do you just like shut down and like ignore him for like a week or so? So this is make or break. Communication is very, very important to me. There may be moments when I need to take time for myself and that's only going to last about two minutes so that I can analyze my emotions and figure out what I need to say. But then I really need to confront the situation and communicate because I obviously want things to work out. I think communication is key. I think if there's ever a situation where um, two people are fighting and if you want to get through it, I think just talking it out is always the best option. And hopefully not to end the fight or the situation in a negative way. So just always to look at the positives and talk through it. Well, I think communication is key. I do not like to go to sleep being mad at somebody. Like, we're gonna resolve this tonight, okay? So, yeah. You know, I feel like sometimes I need time to like calm down and let the situation get like cold before talking about it because if two people are like mad at each other, they're only thinking about the bad things and like the negative stuff. So I like a moment to like, pull myself together and say like, this is why like I'm angry, but like I'm angry at a situation and maybe not at the person uh, maybe. And then talking about it and just like solving things and remembering why you're in this relationship. Um, so I would like to confront the, the situation. Um, if I don't like doing it through text, possibly FaceTime if we can't meet up, but I would rather do it in person just cause you can actually see the emotions on their faces um, throughout the whole conversation. Sometimes I'll shut down and I'll probably ignore you for a minute because I want you to come after me 
because I'm hard to get. His previous girlfriends, you know, they're very, I don't know, they were always looking to fight. They wanted to find something to like argue about. So this one has to be laid back, very chill, like communicative, like some other girls, they would just get mad and then just shut down. So I want them to be like, I don't know, like, oh, I'm sad that you did this, but like in a nice way, not like screaming at him and just like go out storming. So unfortunately, Marcelo likes to communicate when he's upset or like when the other person's upset. He obviously doesn't want to go to sleep, like thinking, okay, the person's mad at me, they're not gonna talk to me. And like you said, TNA, you shut down and like you like whatever and like you want him to come after you. Um, that's not Marcelo's type. Like he, he doesn't like to do that hard to get you, unfortunately. Sorry. I mean, I understand, but I'm a type of girl that wants to be chased when she's angry. Sometimes I think I'm going to be lonely. What type of movies do you like? Like, do you like romantic movies or drama, scary movies? Are you into scary movies or are you not? That's really hard for me because I absolutely adore movies. I like writing about them too, so I'm into all genres. Um, if it's going to be scary, I actually prefer like psychological horror because I'm really interested in that. But I really do also like dramas and like comedies. Um, I just love all movies. I think my favorite genre, which I hate to say it, I love like romance movies. I just love like The Notebook and like The Last Song, like all movies like that. But I do love horror movies too. Like the Hall all, like, all the Halloween movies are my favorite. I like all movies except uh, anything that has to do with like paranormal, like ghost stuff, because you know that could be real. So yeah, <laughs> nah. I really like movies in general. I don't watch horror movies by myself because I get really scared, and then like I go to sleep and I can't sleep. But <laughs> other than that, any type of movie, I love going to the movies and like eating popcorn. So I'm really into rom coms and comedies. I would watch horror movies only if I'm with someone. I can't watch them by myself. So unfortunately, this person is very into romance movies. I I can feel, um, and like Marcelo's not super into romance. Like he he'll watch like a rom com um, or anything, but like very romantic movies like The Last Song or The Notebook. Sorry, Sarah. I felt kind of sad just because if you don't like romance movies, then do you actually like have a heart? I thought a lot about Antonio, probably more than I thought about Marcelo. Antonio should know that that kiss that I blew was not for Marcelo. So, I want to know like how many relationships you've had before, like is this going to be your first serious relationship or like how did your last relationship end, like was it for some like reason in specific or anything? Um, I had one relationship and it was very healthy, but because we were moving apart and just emotionally and um, in terms of states as well, we thought it'd be best to probably separate. And it was mutual and we're still really good friends. Um, I've only been in one relationship and that was in high school because when I went to college, you know, I was trying to have fun. But at the same time, you know, we weren't seeing eye to eye. So it was a good time for us to like make our separate ways, but we're still cool, you know, no beef. I've never had a serious relationship. I've had some like flings um, around like when I was in college and like dating some guys, but like not really anything serious. So I had about two serious relationships. Um, my last serious relationship was pretty toxic, so we both had to separate. It was an experience. I want a girl who's been in a relationship before. I wouldn't want to be with a girl that's never had a relationship before. So unfortunately, Marcelo doesn't want to like have like sort of like a beginner relationship with someone or any of that. So unfortunately, Alexa, since you haven't had a serious relationship, you will not be the bit. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's such a like weird question to ask because like, like why? <laughs> Maybe I can get Antonio's number instead. Give me a call if you're single. Si estás disponible, llámame. I was wondering, are you, uh, like, what type of family person are you? Are you, like, sort of distant? Like, you still talk to your, with your family, like, maybe on the weekends or whatever? Or do you, like, or do you like to visit them? Do you like to talk to your parents every day or anything like that? Are you family-oriented? Anything like that? Family is really, really important to me. I have my mom, my dad, and I have two siblings, and I care about them all very much. Um, I don't visit them, like, every weekend, but I make sure to try and call them at least, like, once a week just to check up on everybody. Family is really important to me. I have three sisters and we're like BFFs and I have a lot of cousins and we have a whole group chat and we literally 
talk every single day. So, so I'm very um, close to my family. I still live at home. Um, so I'm very close to my brother since we're only a year apart. And our family group chat is basically just Spanish memes. <laughs> Hopefully Antonio chooses the girl that's family oriented because family is really important to me. More than family oriented, she's going to be perfect for you. Marcelo. So Marcelo, he likes to talk with his mom and his sister every day. Like He's very family oriented. He likes to bring like his relationships home to like, have like a nice dinner or anything like that and get to really know his family. And Journey, since you said you only talk to your family once a week, uh, you, you will not be the big, sorry. I got out on a dumb question. I don't like spend every waking moment with my family and maybe I want to spend moments dating people. Antonio, you're really, really cute. You probably should have been with the guy with the blindfold. You're like seriously adorable. Okay, in 30 seconds or less, I want you to like, Give it your best and tell me why you should be my best friend's next bae. Uh, I should be your friend's bae because I could show your friend a really good time. We can go out to eat. We can work out together. Uh, we could just do so much fun things. And yeah, I could make him better, a better person. We could be better together. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you should pick me because I will take him to the best Ecuadorian restaurants around New York. and. Uh, I'm very open to meeting new people, and I think it can be a, a good match. You both have very good answers. I think you guys are both good matches or anything. You guys can be friends. We all four friends together. Um, we can try good food with your Yelp reviews. But I have come down to Daisy to be uh, the next bay. I like your Ecuadorian culture. He likes Hispanic food and all that stuff. And I think that would be a good match. Nice to meet you. Bye, nice to I like you anyways. It's okay. Bye. <laughs> well, I did not think I was gonna make it that far, but then again, I am who I am, so I'm a good catch. So yeah. When I saw Marcelo, um, I wasn't missing out on too much, so you know. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> So I picked Daisy because she looks like a very nice girl. She likes Ecuadorian food, so you're very into food and exploring and all that. She's a makeup artist, so she's your next bae. Yes. He'll do whatever you want. Like, you guys can go out to eat. No, no, he won't. No, no. no, he'll go out to eat. Like, if you're down like to go explore something, he'll go out with you. And you can just, you can just explore the city together. Uh, I think she's really beautiful. Thanks. Um, well, you seem really nice, and I'm interested in getting to know you. I think my bestie picked my bae this time. I really think she's beautiful, and I'm really excited to get to know her, because she seems like a fun and outgoing person. I thought I'd be out in the picky eater one, but then someone else was like, maybe more picky eater, so I guess I was saved. <laughs> I think they put chicken feet in some Ecuadorian soup that my mom makes. I think it's pretty cute. I think you guys did a better job this time. She's actually into me, so <laughs> that's a plus. Just super excited to see where this goes. I knew it was Daisy around when there were like five girls left. Journey, she had some good answers, but um, she looked like a nice girl, but just wasn't Marcelo's type. And like when it came down to the last two, the two answers were good, but I think uh, Daisy was my ultimate choice for, for Marcelo. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, subscribe to 17's YouTube channel. <laughs>